the old um, metal looking building there, um, they actually have a gift shop in and on the other side. Right next door you have a beach where they will take in barges and work on them. Then you have the petroleum delivery place here where uh, uh, big boats can come and fill up with their fuel. Uh, you'd have AGS, which would be Alaska General Seafoods. Um, you'd have um, Ocean Beauty, which for some odd reason, I feel like Ocean Beauty is this one or the next one. Uh, you also have Trident. Well, here we go. I'll look at the tenders. Okay, so I'm seeing it on the Cape St. John and on the Fort Otters. It says Trident. So I'm going to assume that that's uh, Trident's area. All three of these tenders say Trident on them. You may notice in the water a whole bunch of birds in the water there. Uh, what's going on there is the cannery takes the fish and whatever they're not using, they chop up and then they send that back down a tube and that goes into the water and then the birds are there and they're getting any stuff that's floating to the surface. One question you may have is how do they get the fish from the tender up to the plant? You may notice on each tender there's like a big tube. It's probably 10 inches to a foot wide. And there is like a big gray thing which reminds me of if you're on a farm, a ball tank that hold milk. But that's a big vacuum. And what happens is, is the fish get vacuumed up through that big tube and then it goes up the hill to the cannery and then the parts that are not used they get sent back up okay so this one right here I see it here says Alaska General Seafood so that's that one right there See all those places where tenders can go and dock and get rid of their fish? One thing you may not know is um, a seed food company cannot expand permanently putting new posts into their dock-ish area. They can fix their dock, they can put in new posts where previous posts were, but they cannot make a dock, for example, let's just say a dock is, it goes out 100 feet and is 50 foot wide. They cannot make that dock go out 200 feet now and maybe 100 foot wide. You cannot expand any further into the river, which therefore does not allow uh, different canneries that maybe have smaller docks. For example, one would be Copper River Seafoods to expand to make it easier for drop off. So what Copper River Seafoods does is they actually have barges attached to the end of their smaller dock which then allows your tenders to come up to the barge and unload their fish, which can get vacuumed through longer pipes all the way up to the processing plant. We're coming up to City Dock, where all the, the canneries will be sending their reefers full of fish. As you can see, they're stacked anywhere from three to five high. So a reefer has, every reefer has its own freezer system on it. And they, once they get to the dock, after a while, you'll hear a report from the Knack Knack um, river system that says there'll be a huge barge coming up the river. Be aware, it's, you know, I think it's like 300 feet long. Da, da, da. 
and they're gonna come at this time, so you gotta get out of that barge's way. Uh, and then they come, and then they load all those reapers on. Many of them will go down to Seattle, down that direction, and then they get pushed on to wherever they need to go after that. So, ginormous cranes run this, this part here. 